Hey everyone, how's it going? Uh, tonight we have a video for you over uh, plate carriers and whatnot. And right over here we have a Ferro Concepts FCPC V5. And then over here we have a Velocity Systems LEPC. Um, it's kind of like this is new school, this is kind of old school, like more traditional. Uh, a little bit more of a slick carrier and a little bit more load bearing. Uh, carries things a little bit more comfortably, more things more comfortably, and uh, kind of show you the pros and a little bit of the cons of both. So thank you for watching. So like I said before, what we have here is a uh, Ferro Concepts FC PC V5. Um, when I was going through carriers, uh, I had a Velocity System Scarab, I had an Agilite K5, and a Spiritus Systems LV119 and they were all fine carriers uh, they all did their job the way they were supposed to um, but it's it's kind of a personal choice as to what fits you and what fits you just the way you want and I landed on this one and so we're kinda gonna start at the top work our way down um, and the main reason why I picked this one was it had the straps that moved like this so they really naturally rest on uh, on your shoulders and they don't dig in like uh, some of the ones I had like the Spiritus has like the straight plate bags and for some reason on me <clears throat> it just dug in really hard and was really uncomfortable um, but for other people it's not so this these straps on this carrier has been a really good job for me um, also has a little admin pouch that goes in there. I don't know what all you could really fit in there. Um, a passport, a wallet, like if you had a thin wallet. Um, it's not real deep, not real wide, um, but whatever you would need to put in there, I guess you could uh, figure out a way to make it fit. Uh, moving down, has a front Velcro with uh, Molly, so if you need to run any uh, end user device like the uh, Juggernaut cases or the Cogworks or any of those, it'll Molly right into it. Um, Ferro also makes some pouches that like Velcro to it and Molly, and they have little uh, admin pouches that kind of slant down so that you can clear your mag still. So there's a lot of options for this front panel Velcro. What I have on it now is just a uh, it's a pretty cool patch. It's from a uh, Morale Decay Patchwork and leather, handmade. Really cool company. Really nice guys um, from the little bit of talking that I've done to them on Instagram. So that's why I have that on there. Moving down from that, you have the ability to attach uh, Swift Clips, which was what I ran on it for the majority of the time. And Swift Clips are awesome. Um, but I was always running kind of off-brand from Faro, so that's why I had to use Swift Clips. Uh, they're not bad, um, it just, I moved away from them. So what I got instead was one of the uh, Faro elastic placards. It uses G-hooks up underneath this little lip down here, and so it keeps how it attaches really nice and tight and discreet. Um, the placard itself, I never really wanted an elastic placard. They just didn't tickle my fancy. They didn't look that durable. Um, I always had like the S-Tac triple shingles or the quad shingles on this. And those did a really, really good job. And uh, I just figured I kind of want to slick this one down. I threw way too much stuff on it and it got too heavy. And this placard seems to be doing a really good job. Um, also has the bungee retentions that come with the placard. They're easy to get off and I'm really enjoying it. So, also have a stabby here that, uh, this is a Viking Tactics stabby. Um, I just kind of threw that on there for the sake of I'd never had a knife mounted to a carrier before and I wanted to see if I could do it. So I just got some, uh, some adhesive Velcro and stuck it on both sides of the sheath, slid it behind the cummerbund and, uh, does a really good job. I mean, the retention's great. Uh, no chance of it come the sheath coming with the knife whenever I draw it out. And so far, that's been working really well. 
And then on the side here, um, because if you are wearing a plate carrier, uh, to a certain extent, you're kind of expecting to maybe get shot at. Um, I have an S-Tac elastic tourniquet holder. Um, I think I've had these tourniquet holders for like four or five years. The elastic's still really good on them, um, and they do exactly what they're intended. And it's not an arm and a leg to buy a couple of those so you can have a good secure place to put your tourniquet. Uh, the next thing that we're going to talk about is uh, the cummerbund that Ferro Concepts uses. It's, uh, it's their assault cummerbund. It has <clears throat> full, full molly on it and what makes it rigid is it has this tegris and it does a really good job adding structure to it. So like the uh, like the two band and the three band cummerbunds, which is what I had on my other carriers. It's not bad. Um, it does the job, but whenever you're putting pouches on or if you just, it, it doesn't feel as structurally sound, this cummerbund does a lot to fix that up and make it feel a little bit more conformed to your body and it's moving with you, not so much moving freely. And then on the back side of that, there is, uh, there's Velcro also, so that you can attach side plates. Um, and I know a lot of people kind of go crazy over side plates and whether you should have them, whether you shouldn't have them, um, you, you should probably have them on a plate carrier. I mean, reasonably speaking, like I said before, if you're expecting to get shot at, um, armor's probably not a bad idea to have. And I don't know how many statistics there are of guys who have taken a shot through and through on the side and have died from it. So side armor, probably not a bad idea. Probably gonna get some whenever I can. And then the last thing that I have on this would be, I have an S-Tac, just a general purpose pouch. Has a set of flex cuffs in it. Um, on the outside because, you know, you can't always be um, putting people down, I guess. There, there's a time and a place where you might have to uh, cuff someone up and restrain them. Um, I also keep in the pouch itself, I keep uh, batteries, spare batteries. Just got into night vision and stuff and I have an EOTech and all that stuff likes to eat batteries like it's nobody's business. Um, I've never ran anything where I needed to have snacks in it. I, I, I don't know, I, I guess I'm not the Skittle guy shoving snacks in all the pouches that I have. Um, if I have a little bit of extra medical stuff, I'll put it in there, but typically batteries, things like that. Um, the back has the ability to um, accept uh, Ferro Concepts zipper panels and whatnot. And they have the same one that every other company that makes kind of slicker carriers have now. They have a pouch made for flashbangs, they have a hydration panel, they have a kind of like an assault panel where there's compartments and whatnot. Um, and if you're not doing like teamwork stuff, because I thought I was cool and got a back panel, and uh, it's not really that cool to have to take your carrier off and get to the stuff that you put in your back. So if you're not like working with the homies, um, probably don't need a back panel. You probably be better off just running like a backpack if you need that kind of extra stuff. Last thing I want to talk about is, uh, and what having a back panel and having more pouches and stuff like that is, uh, they have these little tabs here that you can, uh, undo and run cable management for for like radios you know the uh the taliban specials the bayo fang stuff like that and there's just a lot of little things that you can do with this carrier and it does a really good job because last but not least um i am running rma 1092 plates so those will stop up to 308 ball um but like uh like a 7.62 by 39 armor piercing and M855 green tip. These plates are rated to stop that too. They're multi-curve. I had single curve plates before, which might be some of my complaint on the older carriers that I had, like that I didn't even realize. 
um, and the multi-curve makes it so much more comfortable. And I think they're right around like four pounds a plate. So, you know, if, uh, if old Bubba's somewhere down there in the tree line and he caps me in the chest with a black tip 30-06, probably not going to have a good day. Um, but I feel like these plates are suitable for what I need, so that's why I run them. But like I said, it's Ferro Concepts, and I have really enjoyed my time running this carrier. All right, so what we have here is a Velocity Systems LEPC. Um, like I said before, this one's kind of like old school along the lines of like the uh, LBT6094, I believe it's called. Um, this carrier, I think, can carry a little bit more weight more comfortably. Um, it's not my personal carrier. This is uh, Drew Tax. Uh, he was nice enough to let us review it a little bit. So we'll start from the top down again. Uh, shoulder straps. They kind of have a little bit of that wiggle. Um, they're sewn in. They're not on like D-rings and cobra buckles like the F FCPC. Um, but I, he's never really complained about it digging into his neck or cutting in real hard. Uh, he also has some pretty thin shoulder straps on it too, which pr probably helps. These are nice and wide. Those real thin ones seem to cut in more so. And... I think these guys do a pretty good job about making sure that these are nice, low profile, and comfortable all at the same time. Moving down from there, uh, you have the top chest admin panel. Um, all the Velcro on this whole carrier is like really, really good Velcro. Um, inside of it, there is a Molly field. So if you need to, uh, well, it's, it's kind of like Molly, it's stitched in like Molly but it has some uh, flex to it so if you need to loop anything in there um, also the admin panel is very very deep um, and so you could fit a lot more stuff in this carrier than like you could one of these slick carriers like the Faro or the spirit of systems or something like that uh, front has a velcro field um, it does not have the the uh, the molly panel up front but there are different ways that you could uh, attach end user devices if you needed to moving down from there um, there's a tab right here that you can pull this out and it goes down to here and that's a whole nother admin pocket um, on my last job that i had i was wearing a carrier real similar to this and i kept all sorts of like kind of crucial things that i needed uh, to the job in there Notepads, pens, you know, chapstick, uh, wintertime, I keep a little bottle of lotion, gloves, uh, like rubber gloves, and there's a lot of really nice uses, and like I said, it has Velcro that keeps it shut, but the Velcro on this carrier is really good, so you don't need to worry about a wiggle and open or anything like that. Um, so... This is kind of my favorite part about this carrier is uh, the cummerbunds because they have a good good amount of molly there. You can get any pouch that you want to on there. And it's not like the two or the three band. It, it doesn't have as much as much structure as like the uh, the assault cummerbund for the Ferro Concepts, but it's still a little bit more uh, structurally sound than the uh, two bands and three bands. But then on the inside, you also have pouches where you could, if you needed to, you can put in extra mags and whatnot. Um, if you wanted to, you could probably run uh, the Taliban special uh, Baofeng radios or anything like that. And it's also its own enclosure for side armor. So, like I said, one of these carriers can, in my opinion, hold a lot more weight, a lot more comfortably. So, like, if you were on an entry team or something like that, I think this would be a, a really nice carrier to have. All right, so now we got the cummerbund back in place and everything, and like I was saying before, what I really like about this carrier is it has swift clips, so if you want to throw on some kind of placard and whatnot, you definitely can, um, which is how most people are going to do it, is how I would probably do it. Um, but with these pockets that are on the inside realistically you could run the 
front completely slick and have you know an ammo loadout, your comms set up, and then you still have the Molly on the outside. So if you need pouches for any more kind of admin stuff, batteries, snick snacks, you know, pick your poison, you can still put that on the outside. So by itself, as a complete package coming from the factory, like you can run this carrier and not have to have a bunch of different add-ons. Um, but with that, uh, velocity systems are the one that started rocking the Swift Clips and brought them to kind of be like an industry standard. So you have a placard system that has Velcro on the back, it interfaces with this, and then these buckles will clip into these which is super cool because if you want to be able to change your loadouts, if you want something like an STAC triple placard, you just want three mags and that's it, then you can just run three mags, clip them off, you're ready to go. If you want a little heavier setup, a little, uh, a little bit more mission specific type of setup where you need certain items, um, you can have a placard for that. So this one is a Velocity Systems placard it's uh, four M4 mags, and you have three different kinds of admin pouches. So in this pouch here, I've got pistol mags, because Drew Tech uh, likes to run it on the carrier sometimes instead of the belt, if he's not rocking a belt. And then in the middle, you have a lot of good uh, medical supplies here. Chest seals, quick clot, you know, all the necessities to have. And then on this one, it has Pens, notepad, uh, some slip 2000 lube, a flashlight. Flashlights are really important. You should have one on you. And <clears throat> that's your setup there. Uh, Velocity Systems also makes placards dedicated for like 308 rigs. So if you have like an SR25, I don't, I wish. Um, or like an Aero M5 or something, you need those 308 mags. Uh, there's... There's a different flavor for like every caliber that's out there. So not only can you have the placard system, but you can also have these little uh, dangler pouches. This one's a Spirit of Systems. Uh, he has medical supplies on this, an extra tourniquet that's where he carries his. You can put mags in there, flashlights, anything that you deem mission critical, I guess, would be the technical terminology. Um, so there are just a lot of different ways that you can stack up carriers, and, and this is doable on the uh, FCPC too, um, but there's just, there's a lot of different ways you can scale these up or scale them back down. Um, and these, this carrier has a uh, level 4 ceramic plates, um, so if Bubba's in the tree line with 30-06 uh, armor piercing, it's not going to go through these plates like it would mine, but it's it's whatever you want to carry, whatever weight you want to deal with, um, and like all of this stuff is, it's, it's preference, it's what's comfortable to you. Like I said, he's a lot bigger than me, he's a lot stronger than me, um, so it makes sense for him to be able to carry a little bit more weight. So again, this one is the Velocity Systems LEPC, and it's a really cool carrier, I dig it. So you might be asking yourself why you need a setup like this, why do you need to have body armor, why do you need to be able to carry all these mags, blah, 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 blah. Um, we live in America. You can, for the most part, own what you want to own, um, especially whenever it comes to being able to protect yourself and your family. And if this is something that you think will help you along the lines in that, I, I think it's a good purchase to have. Um, you don't have to justify it to people. Um, it doesn't make you crazy to own body armor. You don't have to want anarchy in the streets to own body armor. Um, you can have it because you like it. You can have it because you are a concerned citizen and you want to be able to put on body armor if the situation dictates that. Um, don't let people shun you about what you own. This is totally fine. Uh, some people can be a little bit turned off by stuff like this. They shouldn't be. It's, it's part of American history, if you ask me. So, thank you for watching the videos. 
uh, thanks for checking out our setups and appreciate you guys watching.